Dolby Atmos debuted in 2012 with the release of Pix's movie Brave and has ushered in a new era of 3D sound. Whether you're enjoying media from your phone, TV, or local movie theater, the audio is likely supported by Dolby. But what is it, exactly? Let's dig in. Dolby Atmos takes Dolby's traditional 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound setups a step further by adding a third, overhead dimension. You're no longer constrained to a stereo system or standard 6 or 7 channel arrangement. With Dolby Atmos, you experience an auditory atmosphere, as the name implies, and are encompassed by scenic sounds by your equipment bouncing sounds off your ceiling. The end result, an environment that more accurately represents how we experience sound. The defining feature of Dolby Atmos is its configuration of audio objects. Sounds are no longer limited to their respective channels. Since Atmos introduction, audio is interpreted and recreated as objects. Think of each sound as a floating orb in space, it's not limited to vertical or horizontal movement. That sound orb can float along any plane. Audio engineers can take advantage of the 128 available tracks, 10 of which are dedicated to ambient stems or center dialogue. This means 118 tracks are available for audio objects at any given point. Each object has its own metadata. If you're familiar with photography, you've probably heard the term metadata before. When it comes to Dolby Atmos audio, metadata informs your television or AV receiver of how to process audio data. You'll get the most out of the technology by maxing out the number of usable speakers. However, the cool thing about Atmos is how it makes audio sound great on a simple setup, too so long as the relevant metadata is available for all in-use audio objects. An example Dolby uses across its site is that of a fly-by helicopter. Think of your favorite action movie, the hero sees a helicopter approach, his tough guy getaway chopper. It flies overhead to the rendezvous point. A standard stereo system will pan the sound from left to right. As it passes the character, but can't emulate aerial sounds. Dolby Atmos, on the other hand, can do so. In fact, you don't even need multiple speaker outputs, many capable soundbars can recreate this overhead sound so long as it's properly set up. Is Dolby Atmos good for VR? Absolutely. We process plenty of auditory information. Thus, in order for VR games and cinema to be effective, the audio too must be immersive. In 2016, Dolby Atmos was used in the VR film Perspective Chapter 2, The Misdemeanor. It's filmed from the first-person perspective, so accurate audio reproduction is imperative to keep the viewer engaged and their belief suspended. Kerry Thomas of Dolby stated, We enable the viewer to empathize with those characters, to hear their voice in a unique way. While Dolby Atmos may not be the sexiest of technologies out there, it's certainly permeated the world of entertainment. Whether you're seeing a movie at your favorite spot or staying in to stream your favorite movie, there are many ways to experience Atmos audio. With the release of the Sennheiser Ambio soundbar and more sound systems to come, we'll likely continue to hear about Dolby Atmos and its evolution especially as VR content becomes more accessible. Thanks for watching today's video. If you find this video helpful give me a big thumbs up. Please, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos.